Hey, hey, what's up everyone? I figured I'd take a few minutes to make a quick video since it's been a few days since I posted anything. And that's because I've been traveling. I've actually been out in Orlando, Florida the last few days. I'm out in Florida for a Neuro Linguistic Programming eight day conference. And I'll go over what Neuro Linguistic Programming is a little bit later, but it's freaking awesome. And I'm at the Four Points Sheraton Hotel. And I can swap the camera around on video for whatever reason. Maybe it's Android. I don't know. But you'll have to take my word for it. But I'm on the 19th floor. And way over there, it's actually not too far away. It just looks that way. You will see Hogwarts Castle. The real Hogwarts Castle. Who would have thought it would be in Florida? So there's a lot of stuff to do. There's restaurants all down the street. There's like a thousand restaurants within a mile radius. And I'm a big foodie. So I'll be eating. I'll be attending this conference. I'll be seeing my buddy Craig, who I haven't seen in years. Life is going good. But the reason I'm making this video is I started attending seminars, like actual live workshops and seminars and events at the beginning of last year. And I started doing that because I was huge into reading books about sales, about communication, about pretty much the science of achievement, the science of your brain, how you can wire yourself in order to take action and, and confront your fears and get over your fears in order to do what it is you want to do. Because the last thing you want at the end of your life is regrets. Go out there and do whatever it is that you want. Because the reality is there's someone out there already doing what you want to do. So if they can do it, there's no reason why you can't do it. And I wanted, I wanted a deeper level of learning. So I started going to seminars. And I remember this company named Skillpath is in every area, I think, across the United States. They're literally everywhere. It's a nonprofit seminar organization. And they're inexpensive. Your work would probably pay for them if it's going to help you grow in your area that you want to grow in, whether it's communication or anything like that. But I started going to these skill path seminars and it's a day long. Some of them are two days, but you go in here. It's a room of, a room of about 20 people and you sit down, you get a workbook and you go over the content and there's classes for everything. Leadership development, Excel, so you can learn Excel if that's something you do professionally or personally, if you like to make an Excel budget or something like that. There's seminars for communication, for sales, for dealing with difficult people. There's literally a seminar for everything through this company. So I started going to seminars because I wanted that deeper level of learning. You learn more when you're actually immersed in an environment than if you're reading a book, okay? And a wall came, all right, where I came up on this wall and I had to think of something different because I didn't want to just continue doing these day seminars with people who were experienced, but maybe not using the information they had practically. I wanted to learn from people who were actually using that information to achieve great things. So one of my goals became, I want to go see Tony Robbins. Like if you guys don't know Tony Robbins, I'm not even going to describe him. The guy is a legend. Look him up immediately. He's still alive. He's like 60 years old and he does live events with 20,000 people or more. He talks about changing your life. He talks about personal development and all that jazz too. And that's where I really began. If you haven't seen the video, I talked about this. Go check it out. It's on my page. But I wanted to go to one of his seminars. That was my plan. And the reason I wanted to go was I wanted to continue taking a deep dive. I wanted to get more knowledge that I could use to impact other people. And also, I wanted to meet other people at these events who were there for the same reason that I was there, to improve themselves and be immersed in an environment where they would be spurred and anchored to take action. And something incredible happened. So that was my plan. I got home one day and it was, I think it was the day before my birthday. I don't think it was my birthday, but my wife, Brie, I think most people here know Brie. If you don't, she's, I love her. I couldn't do it without her. She's my, my rock. She's my support system and I love her very much. And so do all of her friends. But Brie said to me, she's like, do you want to wait until tomorrow for me to give you your birthday presents? And I said, you didn't have to get me anything. And she's like, oh, stop. You know, I'm going to get you something, you know, girlfriends, wives, whatever. So she brought out this basket and the basket had like beef jerky sticking out of it because she knows I love beef jerky. And inside the basket was a DVD set one, which was, which would have been fine because it was a Tony Robbins DVD set. Freaking cool. And the second thing blew my mind. I actually, I've never cried getting a gift in my life. And I broke down. Like I literally broke down in front of Brie because out of the basket, she pulled out an envelope and inside that envelope, or two tickets, two executive level seating tickets for a Tony Robbins event 
in New Jersey that year. I was so freaking pumped. I couldn't believe it. I broke down. We made the plans to go there. We did all the planning. We got the hotel we needed. It was in New Jersey. It was in November. Pretty sure it was in November. If my memory's not right, whatever. It was in November, I'm pretty sure. But we went there, and that was a live event. I met people at that event who I became friends with on Facebook, and I'm following their progress, and they push me every day to be better. And a couple of them have already wrote a book, which I'm in the process of. I'm going to drop another little product drop here. But it was awesome. It was three days. The first day was all about development um, and breaking your disempowering beliefs. The second day was about the strategies for success. By the way, these are literally 12 hour days or more. Some of them went from 8 a.m. to 3 or 2, realistically 2 a.m. the next day. And then he expected you to be up again at 7 a.m. so you can be at the arena at 8. So you can do it all over. And day three was all about living health. It was called living health, day three. And he talked about how you can take care of your body and how you can have more energy throughout the day so you can get more things done and achieve what it is you want to do without getting tired. And the seminar was incredible. Like so many amazing things happened to me or for me, I should say, after that seminar. And I'm not accrediting them all to the seminar, but it's weird how things just happen to work out that way. You make a move to improve yourself and things just start happening for you, whether it's personally or professionally. It's incredible. And I broke the streak of all these local seminars and I finally got out there. So my plan was... And my conflict, I should say, at the time, too, was now I had seminar fever. I wanted to go see all of these great people at their seminars, all the people out there who I've watched, like Grant Cardone, me, my buddy Sean Miller, and a couple other guys from work. We literally went out and saw Grant Cardone. We flew to Florida, all right? Work didn't pay for this. We paid to go down to Florida, all of us together. We split an Airbnb, and we went for another three-day conference to see Grant Cardone, which was all sales-based. It was all still personal development, but very practical stuff like websites and marketing and sales and cold calling and all this stuff. And we grew even more. We took the next step. And now I had seminar fever. I wanted to go to all of these. And then I landed up here at my third big seminar that I've ever been to. And this is called Neuro Linguistic Programming. Okay. You're probably wondering what the hell is that? Is that a computer system? No. Neuro means your brain. Linguistic means your language and the patterns of language that you use. And programming means programming. It's essentially, in layman's terms, how to think. It explains how thinking happens. It explains how we can influence ourselves to think a certain way to achieve something. And it's about how to influence other people to help other people as well. And there's a lot of stuff out there where people say, oh, it's manipulation. Oh, you got to be careful about people with that. They'll be reading you. They'll read your mind and then they'll make you do things. No one can make you do anything, okay? It's a higher level of learning that gives you tools where you can help other people. Like today, we learned all about language and we learned all about when you're thinking, the directions your eyes go determine what it is you're thinking about. And I don't want to spoil anything because I plan to keep you guys updated with what myself and my friend James Ling, we came down here together. I want to keep you updated with what we learn. But the whole point of this video is get out there immerse yourself in an environment with other people who are doing the same exact thing that you are doing or want to do. Be around those people as much as possible and do what you need to do to succeed. Because what I find is a lot of people go to these seminars and I'll give you an example. There's people who've come to this seminar on that right now, eight times. It's $3,500 for a ticket and they've come eight times to this seminar They must be doing okay, unless they're spending all their money to get here, but they're coming here over and over and over again. And yes, you do pick something up every time you come again, of course, because it's, you can't digest all that information within a few days or eight days. It's just impossible. You're always going to take away new distinctions, but knowledge is not power. All right. That's the point. Knowledge isn't power. We all know someone who went to school for four years or eight years, or maybe even a PhD And they're flipping burgers. Not that that's a bad job. It's a job, number one, and it's respectable. But they have a degree and they're not using it is the point I'm trying to make. Knowledge isn't power. Knowledge is only potential power. The ultimate power is execution. Taking that knowledge and doing something with it. That's the ultimate knowledge. People laugh at me because of how many notes 
I take. My notebooks are freaking full of notes. I've got four notebooks completely full just from the last two years because I write and take notes every day and I write down my goals practically every single day because they laugh at me, but because I take notes so I can freaking use the information. I revisit it so I can use it. So my message to you is get out there, immerse yourself in these new environments and learn something new because it can absolutely transform your life. And I appreciate you sticking with us till the end of this video. So until maybe tomorrow when I post another status update, I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching.